And also, the state of Maryland says it's processed more than half a million unemployment claims since COVID-19 broke out. But Seven on Your Side knows thousands are still waiting to be paid. I team investigator Scott Taylor is also in Annapolis right now to get answers for those still waiting for unemployment benefits. Scott, what's the latest here? Last May, the state of Maryland had about 70,000 outstanding claims, and since then, they've done a pretty good job at reducing those numbers. But five months later, there, there's still a lot of families who are waiting to be paid, and they're running out of money. Seven on your side, still receiving email after email from ABC7 viewers who are crying out for help to resolve their unemployment issues. LaShonda Dyson, who lives in Great Mill, says she hasn't seen an unemployment check since July and is now facing eviction. We asked Maryland Governor Larry Hogan in a press conference at the State House about Dyson, who, like thousands, are still up in the air about the status of their claims. My heart goes out to every single person whose case hasn't been resolved. And we're, I can tell you, we're moving heaven and earth to try to get them resolved. But you will continue to hear for the next year, you know, 100 thousand people that aren't going to be satisfied with the result or that don't feel like they're getting handled fast enough. The latest numbers, the Maryland Labor Department has paid out more than $7.5 billion in unemployment benefits to more than 600,000 people. They admit more than 47,000 claims are in dispute and another 2,200 are being evaluated for other issues. In Annapolis today, an ABC7 viewer approached us asking where he could file a complaint about his claim. He's been waiting 15 weeks to get paid. I can't express myself how bad I feel because I'm actually running out of resources. Seven on Your Side has forwarded more than 3,000 emails from viewers to the Department of Labor. They've done a good job at resolving a lot of those. We did ask, though, for their officials to sit down with us for an on-camera interview to answer these questions, why some people still aren't being paid. So far, they have refused to sit down with us.